Hi guys, this is my attempt or my attempts at an alcohol stove water bottle and I was trying to create a double burner. Um, and if you've never made a alcohol stove out of a water bottle, what you do is you go to the dollar store and get one and uh, use a book or something to get the right height. Make a, um, a line around your water bottle, cut the top and the bottom off. Uh, sand all the paint off, invert the top and push it into the bottom. You have to use a piece of wood and a hammer to kind of tap it home and uh, you'll end up with something that looks like this. Um, my dimensions on the ones I made, they are one and seven eighths inches tall. The bottom row of holes is seven inch from the bot from the bottom and the top row of holes is one and one sixteenth. The holes on the bottom are one sixteenth of an inch in diameter and the top row of holes, the smaller holes, are one thirty second of an inch in diameter. Um, lastly, when you're pushing them in there, oh, you gotta actually, one more thing, you have to cut four grooves in the inside of across the top of the water bottle across the neck there's one here 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 and there to uh, allow the fuel to flow from the inside of the uh, camp stove to the outside of the camp stove um, <clears throat> and uh, one other thing when you push them together what I did was I sanded the out the inside of the bottom part with 180 grit sandpaper and then I sanded the outside of the, the top and when I push them together the uh, score marks have uh, held it together. There's no JB weld or anything and I can't pull them back apart. Um, this is the prototype or the one I made first and you can see what happened was I put the large and small holes all on one level and it just made one large flame by moving the smaller holes up and the larger holes down just slightly uh, it does create like a double ring of fire or a double burner I don't know exactly what to call it but um, it, it, it works pretty good I don't know if it's any better than just making one ring or not I was just trying to experiment here um, and to get the spacing on the holes I just took a piece of college rule notebook paper cut the edge off, taped it around, and used these lines um, as a guide. And the uh, all the holes are spaced three apart. So three apart for the top row, three apart for the, the bottom row. One last thing that I did was I poured in one ounce of fluid, uh, just water, and marked it with a pencil. And then I poured in a half an ounce I uh, continue to pour it in half an ounce and mark with a pencil so it goes one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. It'll hold three ounces of liquid, but you can see the score marks. And then uh, once I marked it with a pencil, I just hit it with the Dremel a little bit um, just to give you a visual or give my son a visual on uh, how much fluid he has in there. I'm going to do a burn test, but I'm going to wait till tonight and just so that you can see it a little bit better in the low light conditions. Here I have two cups of water that are room temperature at about 70 degrees and one and a half ounces of denatured alcohol. And I'm just using a regular household kitchen pot. So uh, it might take a little longer to warm up than uh, a, a regular um, camping pot. Pre-ignition on this stove is about a minute and a half with the first batch of denatured alcohol I have. And on this batch of denatured alcohol, it seems to be taking a little longer at about a minute and 50 or so. Just to give you a little background, my son is 13 in Boy Scouts and is doing 
backpacking and the camping trip. So I wanted to give him a camping stove for his birthday, which I gave him this one right here. I think I'm going to try one more attempt to make it a little bit better. Um, if you think of any suggestions on how I might improve this, please let me know. You can see now about three minutes into the recording that the double burner effect that I was going for is it's kind of been achieved but again I don't really know that it's any better than just doing a single burner uh, all the same holes and stuff I was just trying to distribute the heat a little more evenly throughout the uh, bottom of the pot So it takes this one about a minute and 50 for preheat and then approximately five minutes and 55 from light off to boil, which leaves a heating time of about three minutes. And I believe all of this could have been accomplished on about one ounce of denatured alcohol. Here's a better look at the double burner effect that I was going for, and it has worked somewhat. If I was to make any uh, further prototypes, I would make those upper holes just a bit bigger, and I would want to shrink the flame pattern on those lower holes a little bit if I could. If you have any suggestions on how I might do those two things, uh, please let me know. In just a minute, you'll see that it burns out at about uh, 8 minutes and 5 seconds or so on 1.5 ounces of denatured alcohol. Thanks again for watching. Have a great night.